Hi editors, let's create a print text effect in After Effects. It's easy even for beginners, just follow along with the tutorial. Create a new composition and call it Text Comp. Create a new text layer and center it. Let's create a simple cycle text animation from the start. Add Animate Position. Write down the values as we do in the example. Now, add a wiggly selector. Hold Alt and click on the random seed parameter. Write down this expression. Now we have a simple cycle animation. Add a rough and edges effect to our text layer. and set the values as in the video. Now, add a turbulent displace effect. Switch displacement to horizontal and change other parameter values as in the video. Hold Alt and click on the evolution parameter. Write down this expression. Now add a displacement map effect and leave it as it is for now. We'll get back to it later. Create a new white solid and call it a displacement map. Add a turbulent noise effect to it. Set the parameter values as we do here. Hold Alt and click on the evolution, write down the expression. Duplicate it once more and change the values in the new duplicate.
Set the multiply blending mode to this effect. The first effect will remain with the normal blending mode. Next, add a scatter effect to the displacement map and change the value to 2. Get back to our text layer's displacement map effect. Link it to our solid displacement map and select effects and masks from the source list. Change the max horizontal to 10 and vertical displace to 0. Hold Alt and click on the Max Horizontal Displace, and write down the same expression as we do here. Let's increase the value in the Evolutions expression a bit. Now we got what we wanted. If you're into animation, check our 4,000 templates for video editing. Here you can find dozens of video templates for your project, from title animation to YouTube outros and much more. Pick a template for the software you use and preview all categories included inside. Video editing has never been easier. So make sure you have visited our easyedit.pro website. Link the text layer to the displacement map and switch the checkbox to Luma Mat. Now we need to duplicate the text layer, place the duplicate below it, and check a no mat for it. Increase its size to be bigger than our original text layer and center it. Now, move to the effects of the second text layer and change the turbulent displace values. Change the values of max horizontal displace in the displacement map effect. Add a Gaussian blur to the second text layer and change the blurriness amount to 40. Go to the first text layer and add a CC lens effect to it. Change the size value to 178. Copy it and paste into the second text layer, changing the value to 135. Hold Alt and click on the center parameter, write down this expression. Move to the size parameter and write down a similar expression but with different wiggle parameters. Write down the same expression for the convergence parameter. Create a black solid and call it dots. 
place it below. Add a CC ball action effect to it and change the values to be as in the video. Link the dots to the second text layer with alpha matte selected. Create a new adjustment layer and add an invert effect to it. So all the colors below will be inverted. Add a displacement map effect to it and leave it as it is. We'll get back to it later. Next, we'll use a TV noise footage from the art list, but you can use any other noise footage. Disable it, and in the displacement map layer, link it to the TV noise. Set the values as in the example. Add a transform effect. Hold Alt and click on the position parameter. Write down the following expression. It will give us an analog screen wiggle. Now, add a posterized time effect and reduce the frame rate to 15. Add a noise effect. Change the amount of noise to 10% and disable the use color noise. Create a new white solid layer and call it BG. Place it below. Now we can use the texture footage. Ours is from the cinematic titles pack. Place it above the BG and add an invert effect to it. Set the blending mode to multiply. The footage is shorter than we need it, so we'll enable time remapping for it and write down the loop out expression. Get back to the first text layer, add a 3D glasses effect to it and drag it on top of other effects on our layer. Link it to the first text layer and change the 3D view, as in the video. Change the scene convergence value to 2. Change the text overlay to dissolve. Copy the effect and paste it into the second text layer dragging it over other effects. Relink it to the second text layer and change the vertical alignment value to 2.
Change the overlay to dissolve. Our bad print effect is ready. If you like the result, make sure to hit the like button and follow our channel for more tutorials. See you in next video.